morning, everyone. Welcome to 406 Nightly. We're your hosts, Aaron Jones, Ashley Pomeroy, and Isabella Amato. Our mission here at 406 Nightly is to provide our viewers with breaking news and to keep them informed. Tonight on 406, we will be taking a look at two local stories that will hit home for some of our viewers. Our first look is going to be at a breast cancer awareness event in Billings, Montana. The community comes together during October every year to spread hope and knowledge of a disease that affects many people. Our next look will be at a family in Clancy, Montana, who has overcome many challenges with disabilities. Jack, a seven-year-old born a micropremie, is making a difference by educating his community and others about special needs. Now we are going to turn the time over to Erin. Thanks, Ashley. Pack the Place in Pink is a fundraiser held at Skyview High School in Billings, Montana every October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This event provides an opportunity for the community to get together to spread hope and knowledge of the disease that affects so many worldwide. This fundraiser, started by coach Vicki Carl, celebrated its 10-year anniversary this year. The Skyview Volleyball Girls play a game against a rival team with each player playing in honor of a person affected by the disease. Every year, it is an opportunity for all Skyview student body to get involved, especially Skyview BPA, which has played a part by helping with concessions and cheering on the Falcons. Pack the Place in Pink is a breast cancer charity that started with my cancer 10 years ago. Actually 13 years ago is when I had it the first time, but in 2006 it started. And um, the first year we ordered 100 t-shirts to sell, hoping to make some money. And this year we made, uh, excuse me, we sold and ordered 10,000 t-shirts. We are over $200,000 for the amount of money that we've given to women across Montana. Every year it gets bigger and crazier. We call it the pink tornado. It's Coach Carl's mission to provide a pathway to health for other women around the state of Montana. Back to you, Isabel. Thank you, Ashley and Aaron. A family in Clancy, Montana has been dealing with an uphill battle for life for their son, Jack, who was born a micropremie. From the time he was born, the family has had many difficulties and trials with their son's special needs. John, Jesse, and Jack Benyon were tackling a new obstacle recently, kindergarten. John wanted a way for the classmates to understand Jack and his special needs and also to show that Jack is a lot like them. He created a book about Jack called The Adventures of Jack Pants, which shows Jack being the super kid he is. This book was a huge hit with his classmates and has really helped to educate kids about what being special needs really is. I think I want them to be more curious about special needs and also help them understand that kids with special needs are just like them. They may have some difficulties in some areas for Jack. Uh, he's nonverbal. he has mobility issues, but he, he loves to be on the swings with them. He, he likes to be playing outside. Uh, there's, so there's so much that they can relate to about him, and that's what we want them to focus on, ultimately, is just that he's a fun kid, so. So Jack is what um, they call a micropremie in the medical community, and that means that he was born really early. He was born all, a little over four months early. And because of that, he has a lot of um, kind of medical things that he's had to deal with and to overcome. So now as a seven-year-old, he deals with um, something called cerebral palsy, and that affects his movement and um, his cognition, kind of um, how he develops. But he goes to school, he's in a first grade classroom, he, um, he also leaves and goes to his special um, needs classroom, and most schools have, so he's just a really happy kid, and he likes a lot of things that every other kid likes. So beyond just having his, his disabilities, he also is just like any other kid. All of us here at 406 Nightly love this story and the message that it shares so much that we decided to take this story all the way from Clancy to Billings. We took to the elementary schools located in Billings Heights area and read the books. It's important that people become more educated about special needs and realize how it affects people. Our goal is to spread a message that all kids with special needs are super, just like the adventures of Jack Pants. Friends, happily and thankfully, that's how the story ends. Until the next adventure. Meal, yeah, babies need help. <laughs> they need extra help. Thank you so much to everyone that tuned in tonight. Signing off, this is Isabella Amato, Ashley Palmer, and Aaron Jones here at 406 Nightly.